His first field goal as a net draws his team within two. So it took him into the second quarter. After that, he seemed to be a bit more comfortable. Behind the back pass, leaves that for Jeff Green. Nice. Seen that before, Harden creating from the top. Just leave it behind him, knows where his guys are. And the Nets at that point have a one-point lead. Guy who's really going to love this setup is Joe, is Joe Harris. Just get open and Harris can shoot it. Here he's running the floor. Harden finds him. A little reverse, nice touch there. Nets again, back up one tight game here in the uh, first half. Harden. Durant. Will step back mid range. Yeah, don't forget that guy because he's still the best player on the team. Harden ahead to Green. Nice finish right there. Harden sees his guy. I mean, we're up and getting it. We don't even come down with that thing. Good work there. Harden, eight points, seven assists, five rebounds in the first half, and really was just kind of getting warmed up as he reacquaints himself with playing with Kevin Durant. Obviously, he did that in Oklahoma City at the time Harden came off the bench. Sixth man kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so there are times when he doesn't need any help. Doesn't AD need anybody to pass like it to him. Old KD right now. Yeah, just clear it out, and I'll go up in there with two hands. And I also have range. Don't forget me out here. Harden steps back, hits it 84-81. Remember his last three, four games in Houston. It didn't seem terribly interested. Didn't put up a great uh, stat line or point totals. Harden drives, gets all kinds of attention, and so where's my boy KD? Harden had 42. James Harden had 40, uh, excuse me, uh, Kevin Durant had 42 and kind of got overshadowed by Harden because it was the debut, but also because he had 32 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists. That's a triple-double. Uh, he was a turnover shy of a quad, didn't want that. But Durant, 42, Harden, 32. Nets win at 122-115. Malika Andrews handled post game. John, James Harden and Kevin Durant had a record-setting night in Brooklyn on Saturday. But after the game, they were already looking towards how they're going to add the next ingredient into their potent three-star potion. But James Harden had to take just a little bit of time to reflect on how it felt to finally be a Brooklyn Net. Unbelievable. Um, I mean, I hope you can tell by my smile and, and my play. Um, just excited, excited and uh, for the opportunity. This is an unbelievable organization from top to bottom. And, um, you know, for me, all I have to do is just go out there and, and, and be the best, you know, James Harden I can be. And, um, you know, good things will happen. And it was uh, incredible. You could see him uh, trying to figure out the best way to play early on. I felt like we all were overpassing, trying to make everybody comfortable. And then he just got into his mode of, you know, being aggressive to score. And that opened up the whole game for all of us. I think we're going to have to continually find how it all works to its best level to the most effective and efficient standard. But, you know, like throwing Kyrie in the mix makes it better. It, you know, it's it's not a it's a good problem to have it's trying to figure out, you know, what where they can coexist to the to their highest level and standard. Now, Nash, Durant, and Harden were all on the same page when it came to critiques about this game. Harden and Durant combined for 15 of the team's 19 turnovers. And Steve Nash joked that Harden, who had nine turnovers, almost had a quadruple double in the game. And Kevin Durant joked that he's going to have to talk to his teammate about how they can improve on that end, but is confident that it will come with time and building chemistry. There's Malik. James, congrats again on the win. Uh, your teammates out there learning, getting to know you. What did you, though, learn about your teammates tonight? Uh, we have some special talent in this locker room. Uh, very versatile um, shooters, playmakers, um, defenders, a little bit of everything. And that's what you're going to need, especially when it comes postseason. Uh, obviously, we haven't built you know as much chemistry as we, as we would like. But uh, that first game, it felt good to be out there on the court and, and just, you know, give me guys confidence, give me guys energy. And that's what it's going to take throughout the course of the year. Uh, and once you build that up and guys believe in each other, then uh, it's pretty scary. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, James, I'm, I'm wondering if there was any sense of this was like riding a bike, getting back out with the Kevin Durant. I'm a hooper. So I just... Uh, like I said, I'm very unselfish. I'm, I'm I'm willing to just do whatever it takes to win. And obviously, KD is just a you know elite, like just different type of, of basketball player as far as um, the way he's able to score the basketball. Um, it's so easy for him, and I know that. So uh, I just want to make it a little bit more easier if I can. Um, and then you know, for the rest of the teammates, our shooters and our bigs, make it easier for them. Um, so yeah, it was pretty easy out there. Greg Logan with Newsday. James, uh, yesterday you said when you were asked 
what talent do you need to improve or emphasize or whatever? You said playmaking. And it seemed like that's what you were concentrating on tonight. You got everybody's shots, you distributed the ball, you moved it quickly, and then when you had to, you turned it on offensively. So can you say, is, is that, do you expect that to be your approach going forward, especially when they add Kyrie Irving to the mix? Uh, for me, I'm just, you know, I have so many dimensions to my game. Um, I just take whatever the defense gives me. I play the game the right way, or at least I try to uh, every possession, um, and just takes whatever you know the d defense is giving me. And like I said, whoever has the hot hand, um, that's who, who deserves the ball. You know, the, the the basketball finds energy. It finds people that have good energy, good spirit. So uh, that's what I try to bring to the game tonight. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, James. Uh, hard to get in somebody else's head, but I mean, you made it pretty clear that you wanted to be in Brooklyn, and at least it seemed like you were really enjoying yourself out there tonight. I I'm just curious, now that the game's over, I mean, did it feel like what you expected, and how did it feel? How would you describe it? It felt unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I hope you can tell by my smile and, and my play. Um, just excited, excited and uh, for the opportunity. This is an unbelievable organization from top to bottom. And, uh, you know, for me, all I have to do is just go out there and, and, and be the best, you know, James Harden I can be. And, um, you know, good things will happen. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, you know, one thing about you and, and Kyrie and KD uh, as it pertains to you guys' offenses, offensive talent is that you guys can kind of tell what the defense is going to do before they do it. Uh, how do you think that is going to help guys like Joe, uh, guys like DeAndre, when – the defense can't really help off of, you know, we saw it today, defense can't help off of Joe. He's going to hit a three. Defense can't hit off, help off of the guy down low. you got to throw the lob up, up top. Uh, how, how does that make this team better that you guys all know what the defense is going to do and they can't really double you? Once we go through every scenario, and it's only maybe four or five that teams can really do against us, and throughout the course of the year that's going to happen, once we figure out, okay, they're doing this tonight, this is how we attack it, or they're doing this tonight, this is how we attack it. Once we get that, um, it's, it's, it's basically up to us, and I, I'm so excited for Kyrie to get back. You know, he's he's a you know key piece to what we're trying to do, and um, you know the chemistry. As soon as we can build that, um, as soon as we can be on the court together, um, it's going to be scary hours. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey James, Jill and Kevin were kind of saying how you know early on everyone was maybe a little too pass happy and, and not changing the topic. Is just what point in the game did, did you kind of start to feel you got into a rhythm and got comfortable? I mean, I had what nine turnovers throughout the game, and maybe six or seven of them were to you know looking to get guys and DeAndre get get them lobs. That's me being unselfish. Uh, you know, that's me trying to get guys involved. But at the end of the day, I just still got to be a, a, a player at the end of the day and score when I need to score and when the, when the pass is there to do it. So um, first game, I'm happy to get it out the way. Now we can watch some film uh, and get ready for our next opponent. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, James, uh, how did your preparation today? Did you know for sure you'd get to play? Or if not, when did you find out? And, um, you know, without not knowing many of the kind of plays and things like that, is it almost more fun that you get to figure it out yourself a little bit more as opposed to kind of having things scripted? I mean, you know, I have, you know, had multiple conversations with our coaching staff on, on what we're trying to accomplish on both ends of the ball. So uh, pretty much I'm familiar with it. And I know, you know, um, you know, we're, we're, we're spots where to put our, our, our players in. And then it makes it easy when you have Kevin Durant on your team who can take some of the pressure off of you as well. So, um, like I said, it's a long way to go. It's a process, but I think just watching film, getting better, learning where guys like to be. Um, we have some unbelievable shooters trying to get them more shots so they can feel more involved in the offense, um, getting our bigs more, uh, you know, uh, pain points, and just kind of directing people and guiding people to where, you know, they, sh they should be so they can be more effective. I think once that happens, our team will be a lot better. Ian Begley with SNY. James, it's not a basketball question, but could you share anything about what you had to give Landry uh, Shamit for number 13? I'm sure he'll post it when I give it to him. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's big time, though. For him to sacrifice that, uh, you know, I got to make sure, you know, I get him something. And last question, Jen Williams with Fox 5 New York. 